Who doesn't love a gorgeous day out on a vineyard? But here are my five tips to get the most from your experience. I'm Libby Brody, certified wine consultant and columnist, and I'm here for the wine curious to help you drink that little bit better. So wine tourism has never been bigger. You can visit vineyards and wineries all over the world. And in the UK, there's been a massive boom with hundreds of vineyards and wineries popping up all over the place. Here are my suggestions on how to make your day run smooth and get the most from the experience. Firstly, it's worth checking if you need to book in advance or if you can just rock up on the day. Generally, very generally, regions that have lots of vineyards and wineries in the same place will be more open to people just turning up because they're expecting you to shop around on that day. Whereas vineyards and wineries that are more remote, they might be laying on a bit more of a hospitality aspect and expecting you to spend the whole day there. So they may need a call in advance. Point two, dress code. Yes, really, dress code. There isn't one that's set exactly, but there are definitely some top tips for you here. Layer up, that's number one. Because if you're doing a full tour, you could be sitting outside, sipping some gorgeous wine in the sunshine, and then you could be down in a freezing chilly cellar. So bring that cardigan, bring those layers. And also, and this is just from experience, don't do what I did the first time I went to professional tasting and wear something like this white, frilly, scarves that hang down, just in case you decide to use that spittoon. I did that the first time I went to a professional tasting. Massive splashback. Three, smell is fundamental when tasting a wine. In fact, most of what we taste is actually what we smell. So for your own sake and those around you, try to stay off the perfume, cologne and hairspray. Taster pours are meant to be small. They're not a full glass of wine. This is expected. They're not trying to con you. It's because firstly, there should be enough space for you to be able to swell your wine and get air into it. Secondly, there should be enough wine in there for you to have two or three really good sips and get the flavor. And if you're not comfortable swelling up like this, it's fine, just do it on the table like that. Finally, if you don't like a wine, it is fine to pour it away. It isn't rude. The whole point of a tasting is you're trying different styles of wines and seeing what you actually enjoy. What is rude, however, is asking for ice in your wine. It's fine to do this at home, but the winemaker has spent years perfecting and making this wine and they're serving it to you as they want it to be drunk. So if you're going to want ice in your wine, do it at home. I'm Libby Brody and I'm here for The Wine Curious. I hope you've enjoyed these tips. If you have or haven't or want to know more, please let me know in the comments below and click like or subscribe to get more content like this. Cheers. Can, can I get a bigger glass now? <laughs>